All right, y'all. Well, as you can probably tell from what I just did there, we are taking the kayak out fishing today, something I'm very excited to do. It's going to be the first time taking it out in 2024. Uh, I know a lot of y'all been wanting to see kayak vids as well, so we are going to be hitting a little lake today. It's pretty windy. I'm taking out the Pelican Catch 100. Great little 10-foot kayak, but um, might be a little bit of a paddle today. It's, it doesn't glide the easiest i mean it's a little bulky but it's a great fishing kayak so we've got like 15 mile an hour winds um fish should be pre-spawn slash spawning i don't know i gotta get here and check it out but we gotta unload the rest of the gear and then we gotta drag the yak down to the lake so let's get to it so we can get fishing All right, we've got it loaded up. Not bringing too much stuff with us today. We got three rods, paddle, net, seat, a little bit of tackle. Um, but now, I gotta drag it down the trail to the lake. All right, really quick pro tip that changed towing my kayak for me. Get your wheels. Um, if you don't have a pair of wheels, these are the Sea Tug. I will have these linked in the description of the video if you wanna check them out. But get your wheels, put them in the middle of your kayak, okay? And then load up your heavy gear on the back side and that'll bring the weight down on this side, kind of like a, a balance, like a scale. And when you come to pick this up, it's just so light and you're barely really even doing any lifting. All you gotta do is pull it forward now while you're going. All right, y'all, I was right about the wind. It is absolutely just cooking out here, but I'm ready to launch. Okay. Oh, man. This is a really nice little spot, y'all. I love it out here. Oof. Whew. All right. Get situated. And let's get out here on the water. Holy. Paddles turned the wrong way. Here we go guys remember hit the like button to show me some support support the channel and so that we can get a boat i'm gonna love fishing on my little boat today my little yak but let's keep the channel growing keep it rolling and one day we'll be out on the water on a big old bass boat so hit the like button leave a comment i appreciate all that let's get fishing okay so i brought i brought my little pond hopping bag with me um pre-spawn there's only there's not too many things that i'm like dying to throw so it's kind of the same stuff i've been throwing in the ponds right now you know i've got stuff to cover ground with chatter baits uh lipless crank baits lipless i think is what i want to start with um and then i've got stuff you know if we want to go up in some covers see if they're on beds and flip around As y'all can see, this lipless crank has been chewed and used and abused. Caught some really nice fish on this one. Caught some fish out here with it. Um, but I like a, li a red lipless this time of year, y'all. It's about 71 today. I have a very small cold front that came through recently. But it's March in Texas. It means pre-spawn and spawn. So we're gonna start moving. I'm excited. This is one of the first times that I'm kind of equipped for a long day on the kayak. Uh, in the past, you know, I've done kayak fishing, but I really didn't have that much GoPro battery, that much memory space. So I kind of just would come out and fish and then maybe get three hours. But today, if it's going well, I'm not getting too sunburn out here. I can spend a good part of the day out here doing some bass fishing. Hopefully they're biting. But since the wind is just beating down on me head on, I think I'm going to paddle down to that side, fish the crank, and drift around a little bit.
There's one. There we go. First one of the day. Nice. We'll net him. Didn't take long. Come on, y'all. Alright. First one of the day. Lipless crank. Didn't take too long at all. We are blowing up on the bank. He ain't that big, but that's okay. That's a fish, baby. LMB. All right, dude. Look how clear the water is. It's beautiful over here, y'all. I think I'm just gonna back myself up into some of this debris and kind of try to fish the area a little bit. All right. That's number one, and uh, it gets me excited. I think I actually got bumped not too long before I caught that one on a different cast. So, feeling like these fish might be pretty active out here. Hopefully I hit it at the right time and it really is like pre-spawn and they're, they're chasing and trying to feed up. I'd love to catch a bunch on the crankbait today, maybe chatterbait, something like that. All right, there we go. All right. That fish came on the Guggen Squad Clutch Sriracha Crawl Color and throwing it on my Kistler shallow crankbait rod. I really like throwing lipless crankbaits on this thing too because I can chunk them out a mile, um, especially paired with the Batanium DC from Shimano. But I can't seem to sit still over here in the kayak. The wind is too much. I wish I had like a power pole. <laughs> All right, well, this time of year, the lake you're fishing or pond you're fishing has a creek feel like you gotta check it out so heading back in here there's a few deep channels from where the creek kind of runs out i never really have any luck back here but science would say some fish might be back here getting ready to bed up Right, I explored the creeks and now I'm gonna do the only thing that's worked for me today and what I thought was gonna work coming into this that is lipless crankbaits in the deeper water. There's one, I thought that one hit it. we have here <sighs> well at least I got to see him hopefully my reel might have been in the way but nice fish maybe a three pounder off the drag a little bit oh I felt him smoke it y'all but at least you know we're doing something right came back over here not long into it hooked up with him so, I feel like if we just keep throwing around the red lipless, we'll get on a fish. We'll get on another fish, I should say. We had one. I just, it's kind of horsing him a little bit. All right, that didn't go exactly how I wanted it to. Caught one fish real quick and then had a really nice one get off. Um, but I wanna catch some more fish today. It's a really nice day, but I don't think it was happening here. So I'm dragging the yak back to the car. I'm gonna load it up, probably stop at a gas station, get uh, something to hydrate me. And I'm gonna stop at another pond, do some bank fishing that should produce some fish today. I mean, it's kind of old reliable, so. So I'm gonna stop off there, do a little bit more fishing today. I just can't accept this defeat quite yet. So I'll see y'all at the second pond. <laughs> oh. 
All right, I have tied on a red Berkeley Click and Fritz Side 5. Um, same old Fritz Side 5 I love, but this one's got some rattles in it. So I'm going to see if I can run it slow enough and shallow enough to not catch all that crud on the bottom. Doesn't look like that's gonna be a good option with how much grass it's getting on it. This is a bit of a bold choice, but you never know. And look at that first, th like second throw with it, I caught a nice one. Hooked a nice one, I feel it, feel him, he's nice. I feel it, it's a nice fish, y'all. Nothing crazy, but it's a good fish. Ooh, it's a great fish for in here. Get on the bank. <sighs> Look at that pre-spawner. That pre-spawn hog. All right, well, the move paid off. Big old pre-spawn fatty on the Thunder Cricket, the red Thunder Cricket, y'all. Oh, whoops. Just a fatty. A big and it's a nice one probably under three it's just a really big two pounder look at that gut that gut ready for babies come on now last look at big girl right here big girtha she wanted that uh chatterbait okay so chatterbait might be the move <laughs> i was literally doubting it i was doubting the chatterbait oh all right there we go that kind of makes up for the one we lost on the kayak probably similar size to that one honestly and uh there we go red thunder cricket and we're throwing that on my kistler curios rod this is the multi-purpose rod guys looks so good um got that nice white rod pairing it with the new daiwa tatula 100 model um, and I'm loving this for like chatterbait, spinnerbaits, Texas rigs, anything really. Throw flukes on it. It's just a multi-purpose setup. That's what this rod's for. Such a good little chatterbait uh, rod. You can throw crankbaits on it too, but getting it done. Let's keep going. All right, well, that was so quick. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay. Well, I'm glad we stopped off here. See, this pond, it's got bigs in it. It's got it's got really healthy fish i should i should say you gotta find them a lot of times but they're aggressive they eat i figured i'd come back and get one here felt like a bump Red chatterbait's a good option for today. Water's dingy, uh, that wind on the surface, a lot of disturbance going on. You need something that's gonna stand out, cause commotion. We've got all the vibration from this and then also that red color to help it just stand out down there in the dirty stuff. Classic pre-spawn lure. This is where chatterbaits excel, y'all. Look at these guys, I think they're gonna get handouts or something. Come on, get out of here. Got crushed. Ah, smaller one, but they're on this chatterbait right now. I literally walked down to almost the other side of the pond and had another one. It popped off the bank, but my GoPro uh, died on my chest, so didn't capture that. But three fish have hit and committed to this chatterbait. I didn't land two, but I landed one nice one. So something's going on here, and it's a good thing. Whew, well, I'm glad I came out to this little pond after it was rough out there on the lake. Um, it was fun to get the kayak out today though, y'all. But I'm glad that, you know, I caught a really nice one right here. Caught one uh, out on the kayak, but kind of a slow day overall. But, you know, when the weather's this nice, sometimes it really is just good enough to be outside and enjoying it. So if you liked the video, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button for me, please. Leave a comment, let me know what you want to see in future Texas Bass Fishing videos. 
and be sure you subscribe to the channel that is the biggest way that you can help me out help us grow and just support me as a creator so with all being said i appreciate all the support y'all have given me so far and i'll catch you in the next video peace